What's up guys? I know we're all in quarantine and there's really nothing to really be excited about except if you're a Tesla owner. Then maybe, just maybe, you get excited about the updates like I did. I just got an update literally like 40 minutes ago and it updated. And now I'm about to check out what is up with the new update. Let's see what they have in store for us. So it looks like there's a few things that have changed. So what they've done is they've updated the Tesla toy box, the nearby charging stations, and the dash cam improvements. Backgammon improvements. I'm not sure if I've been playing any backgammon. And so let's see what the updates are. So let's go here. Let's go to toy box. They've completely changed the entire thing. So we have different options now. We have the Mars and the Santa and the sketch pad and whatever. On the left hand navigation, which is kind of cool. So let's say, for example, if you went to tracks, this is this is a decent update, actually. So another update that they did was let's go here. Let's go here. Go to software and go to release notes. The nearby charging station, the charging list has been improved. Easily filter the charging sites based on max power. Oh, that's a pretty cool idea, actually. Sometimes you go there and you know there's too many cars, especially nowadays. People have nothing to do. I've noticed that a lot of people are hanging out at the charging stations. Thankfully, I do have a charger at home and I don't have to go to the superchargers. That's an interesting change. Dash cam improvements. Dash cam is now easier to set up. After plugging in a USB, tap control safety format the USB drive. Okay, so you no longer, I guess, have to go and format the USB. I don't know if you guys have done this, but you have to format the USB on your actual computer, create a folder, and then put it in here. You no longer have to do that. That's a very good improvement I'm not surprised and I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't do this initially when they first released the dash cam back gammon improvements play back gammon against your Tesla has now become more difficult the most difficult level has now been trained with 20 million games wow that is awesome so I know what they're saying is that I can't beat them guess what I take that as a challenge I guess my next venture will be to play back gammon with Tesla and see what happens. Let's see what else they did on the toy box. So if you click on romance, this is pretty close. I'm assuming they've categorized things. So I'm assuming they're probably gonna be coming out with more items underneath each category. Let's say for example, if it's romance, maybe different things, maybe different updates. Um, this is just an assumption. I am not sure, but this, by the way, this rainbow road can get very annoying if you accidentally tap it three times when you're trying to get your cruise control or uh, the driving by itself up and running. Well, I guess this is a decent update. Nothing too, too major, but the overall format, it's kind of cool. And this is not bad at all, actually. You know what I've noticed is some of these apps take much longer to load than I would anticipate them taking. fantastic well guess what guys that was the update with tesla's model 3 version 10.2 2016 21 let's see what they have coming next hopefully i heard there's going to be a minecraft and a pokemon go possibly update some kind of a virtual playing and driving situation interesting stuff my son loves it so it'll be a cool update all right, guys, keep you guys posted on the update.